first of all, congratulations. The movie is brilliant. Oh, it's beautiful. You. It's gorgeous. Um, how long did it take for the idea of Brave to actually hit the big screen? Like, what was the process, and how long did it take? Yeah, it, it took about six years. You know, our development process is long and, and very intricate. So, from the original uh, pitch, we started developing it, and then uh, our team of directors and uh, story artists went to Scotland in 2006 and really started diving into the culture and, and, and doing our research. So, um, how does it feel now that you're at the very end of it after the long six years? Like, is it gratifying? Are you upset that you don't get to work on this anymore? I, I'm, or? Upset. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm upset. I'm upset. Yeah, I miss, I miss the gang. I mean, we've gone through a battle together and we've really built a, a team and another family and I miss everybody and it's kind of bittersweet that it's over but it's kind of great that it's over that we get to share it with the world or else nobody can see it so we can't be selfish so is it really a collaborative process when you're making a pixar movie or do you oh. guys kind of take the helm and you go with your ideas no it's a collaborative, it's a collaborative process collaborative. it has to because no one person can have all the ideas it's just mm -hmm. insane so we 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 collaborate all the time and a great idea can come from a, a, anywhere and that's and that's a real exciting part about the process particularly can you speak to me about Meredith's hair the detail is phenomenal like how did you decide that you wanted it to be curly and long and free flowing like that we, we, you know, we decided right off the bat when this movie was pitched this character had to be unique someone we've never seen before she had to have that rare color of red hair because that would pop against the background and also make her very special but also you know she's this untamed spirit this wild child so that the we wanted to create a character in her design where you could just look at her and watch her walk and that hair bounce and you know who you're dealing with before she even opens her mouth. Uh, because amazing. really all that design happens before we even cast a voice actor. And so that was really a, a, a key characteristic of the character and that's why we designed that hair. And then with Kelly, like, did you guys look at a lot of actresses for her, her, a specific tone in her voice or her cadence or was there just something about her personality that made you guys want to cast her? Oh, she was it. Oh yeah, she was it. I mean, she definitely, Kelly definitely has that emotional center uh, that she has and that internal passion, you know, that comes out uh, in her character. We know she could do that. Um, but we were blown away by how funny she is and how quirky she is. And I just wanted her, you know, just to speak in her normal accent, which is this brilliant Glaswegian accent, you know. Uh, she's a Ouija, and, and it just comes out and just makes her so appealing and likable that we all fell in love with her as soon as she opened her mouth.